I'm Joe, and if you're new here, back in 2023, I bought a narrowboat, named it Lydia, and started renovating it into my very first home. Yeah, I'm well, kidding, but it's great. It's not exactly surgical. <laughs> when I had to get a new job, I embarked on an incredible voyage traveling 90 miles north of the Trenton Mersey Canal to Cheshire. Everybody cross your fingers. After I got there and settled into my new home, it was time to pick up the renovations where we left them off. It is once again DIY time. Welcome back to the Voyage of Lydia. Good morning everybody, it's nice to be back. I will be honest, it does feel quite weird doing this again um, because it's been three months almost since I sort of spoke to a mobile phone so it, it does feel a bit weird uh, doing this again, I will be honest. However, I'm at my new place now, at least for the time being before I move on uh, further north uh, to be a bit closer to Chester for work which so we talked about in uh, the Q&A but I've got time to kill when I'm not at work and as ever that time is filled with cracking on with the renovations so I've got a list of jobs to do this morning I'll get my list here and I'll read it out for you so paint all bookcase panels three coats each cut down the floorboards tidy the boat because it is a bit of a mess. Take bathroom floor plan and mood but Ah, yes. So I'll talk a little bit about this later. Um, but in the q and I mentioned that the whole bathroom was getting ripped out and redone. That's been done by a company here at the marina, Knight and Arrow Boats. Um, and I'll tell you more about why later on. Um, yeah, and I need to get some shopping from Aldi. Um, have I mentioned laundry? My head's all over the place with this list of jobs. So, first things first, painting. So these are the bits of wood that I've got cut from B&Q that are gonna go in to make the bookcase. And I'll just quickly show you where the bookcase is gonna go. It is a little bit dark in here. I'll open up the curtains. It's a bit tricky to do this with one hand, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, that'll do. So yeah, the bookcase, I uh, managed to get some wood panels on there to cover up the bare, the bare wall with the hole cut out for the grate because this is the cable for my Wi-Fi router. So yes, the floorboards I need to cut down are going to go in this space down here. I don't know what that's, I think I just dropped that down there. So yeah, I've got marked up where the shelves are going to go. So there's going to be a shelf there. A shelf there and a shelf there so basically there's going to be one big sort of cupboard down there and then a little shelving unit for some books on the top bit hopefully it'll look really nice and uh, when yeah it'll, hopefully it'll look really nice when it's all finished paint is on some panels and the other ones have had their first coat um, I do still need to do the other side of each panel and sort of the edges but that will come in time but my next job is cutting down these floorboards for the gap in there you can see the little pencil mark where I'm gonna cut them down so let's get cracking I 
that's one cut down let's see if it fits i've made a catastrophic mistake this bit on the end that i cut off has the notch in it to fit into see if i can show you with it this way around there's a little sort of this lip here like that bit fits over the top of it but obviously this bit because i've cut it down there's no bloody notch here i was thinking i was gonna have a good day it's easily fixed i just need to measure up the bits again and cut it down at the other end I think and I hope and I pray <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh god my DIYing genius knows no bounds I've come up with yet again another ingenious solution to the problem instead of having the planks go that way I've got them that way it's so simple and yet so good and so satisfying. There is a bit of a gap um, at the back, but I can fill that in and cover that up with um, with something. So that's that's fine. And I only have to cut four four planks instead of six. I'm so good at making life easy for myself. I'm happy with that. Right, okay, let's get cutting. So now, instead of cutting off where the old line was, I'm now cutting off on this line. So there's not as much wastage, and hopefully it'll be a better fit in the space. So... I don't think I've done too bad of a job there. Bit shonky, but it's going underneath a cupboard, so it shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be too bad. But let's see if it fits before we start cutting the other ones down. I think that's what the professionals do, isn't it? Drum roll, please. Right, it fits in the gap. Doing this with one hand is a tad tricky. Now I should really have some underlay underneath all of this come on get on there right that corner's on oh bollocks let's try again whenever in doubt use a hammer well I think it fits that looks pretty good to me as a trial run I don't think that one worked out too bad. Time to do the other ones. Four panels cut, four panels in. There is this little gap here under this uh, cable, so I'm gonna see if I can try and cut down one of the off cuts from these bits to fit in that little gap and just, uh, just cover that in a little bit. That's quite an accomplishment, really, because I've been meaning to get round to doing the... Words, again, I haven't done this for so long, I'm struggling to get my words out. It's quite an accomplishment, that, that actually, I'm quite happy how that's uh, that's turned out, because I've been meaning to get around to doing this corner for for a while. For a while, it's been gnawing away at me, but it's in the works now, which is which is nice. So, yes, book uh, bookcase building 101, I think I said in the Q&A. <laughs> Right, while that paint's drying, because the panels are on the roof, getting some air, 
takes them about, I don't know, half an hour, an hour to dry. So in that time, I've got laundry to do. Just like being back at university. some lunch at the cafe uh, my laundry's in the dryer now for about an hour so in that hour I'm gonna do more painting and possibly I'm gonna fit um, some trim panels as well we'll see if I get round to that at all but all of the there's another trim panel to go in this corner um, that I think is in the back of the boat in the utility space so We'll just see how far I get with that because I'll, I'll still I need to paint that wall before it goes up, um, and I need to make sure I remember where the shelves are going. So onwards, more work. <laughs> I'm on a sort of food come down. I think after after I've had my lunch, I, don't, I just want to sit down and not really do anything. <laughs> need a third coat but we'll wait and see what it looks like once it's dry and debating on whether or not to do that top one yet as well whether do that one or I'm gonna go outside and do the uh, other ones right if you can hear the noise outside you might, you'll have to forgive me there's a boat getting craned in it's a very busy day at the marina today there's been about five boats getting hauled in and then out of the water again but I've made a decision, very unlike me. Um, I'm gonna use the green paint to paint this forward wall so that the back bit of the bookcase is green. And then the it matches up with the other side behind the stove as well. So I'll turn you around and show you what I mean, in case you've forgotten. So there's that, that big yellow crane there that you can see through my window. That's hauling in a boat off the back of a lorry. So. That is what the noise is. But if you remember way back in uh, a previous episode, we, me and my dad painting the inside, I painted this bit of wall green. And to match it up for a bit of symmetry, this one's gonna go green as well. So the bottom bit I think is gonna stay white because it's gonna be enclosed in a sort of cupboard type arrangement when I get round to uh, building it, which hopefully is gonna be this weekend. But yeah, this top wall's going green for now, and I also need to build, make a sort of little cover for this, which is my uh, forward power outlet for my mains cable. I'd actually forgotten how much of a nice colour this is, and this is before I've even given it a stir. So, I've got my green paint, I've got a tray, put that down, I've got a clean roller, let's go. Here we go. Oh. I 
probably don't need that much like to be fair but You know, I really reckon I'm in the wrong trade. I should have been a I should have been a painter and decorator because I mean, you know, look at it. It looks really good. It matches up with the other one really nicely. You know, once I get some paint on these doors, which isn't going to happen for a little while, then I get some new steps built. It'll look really nice. And obviously, once the um, shelving for the bookcase goes in, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting a lot done today. Proper chuff with me bit self. Right, me, uh, me, me alarm's just gone off to tell us to go and get me laundry, so I'm going to nip up to the building and do that. By the time I've done that, I can get, I can come back and put a second coat of green on that wall, and hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get the final coat on the top bits of each of the bookcase panels, and also do around the um, edges as well. So. Cross fingers. I don't know why I'm crossing my fingers, like to be fair, because it's only just gone. Probably, I think it's just gone half one. So I've I've got plenty of day left. I don't really know what I'm worrying about. It's just it's this list. It's the list of things to do. I need to get through it all. <laughs> Next time on the voyage of Lydia, Dad and I scrounge up some wood to build a roof deck. Ah, there he is. Been working away, and I finally make a start on putting my new corner bookcase together. Bit of a cock up on my part. I'm doing things the old fashioned way. Thank you so much for watching, folks. See you next time.